We're Helen and Tim, full-time adventure travelers with a goal to see the world one mountain at a time. We quit our jobs in January 2023, we packed up our home in Portland, Oregon, put everything into storage, and now we're traveling full-time. After a cross-country road trip, we made our way internationally, which we will be spending most of 2023. In this video, we'll be covering what we'll be packing on our full-time journey, which we are team carry-on only. We filmed our packing video during our stay in Sedona, Arizona. We loved our Airbnb so much and definitely tune into our Sedona video if you haven't checked it out. We're excited to show you what we'll be bringing on our full-time journey, so let's get started. Packing video, take 500, just kidding, one. Take one. Hey everyone, so we're Helen and Tim Travel. We are about to embark on a really fun journey and we actually just quit our jobs not too long ago. So if you're watching and tuning in a little later on, we quit our jobs in January 2023 and we are traveling full time and it's going to be mostly international. I'm excited. Yeah, there's so much to share and to do. And but first we wanted to cover packing and what we will be bringing, which is a difficult subject. And it was it took a long time to kind of get this all um, organized and so people have been asking us what have we been packing how are we packing for this year to two years of travel and so we're here to show you exactly how we're going to do it we really have a one-way ticket to our first stop and we don't have an end date so who knows we might go longer or we might go shorter but for now this is what we have to bring on the road with us. Our home is where our stuff is now. So our, our main piece of luggage that we are bringing are our carry-on bags. They are made by a company called Monos. Mm -hmm. And Monos is a Canadian company that makes some excellent quality carry-on luggage. These are the carry-on plus size. So these are 48 liters. They have this polycarbonate hard shell exterior. Uh, they have the TSA approved locks on the sides and they have the 360 degree stout wheels on them. We've definitely taken these Monos bags on a few test trips already, so we know that everything we need can fit into them. And we've also taken them on various types of planes, and it seems to have worked out well on all of the overhead bins. So no issues so far. Yeah. So far, so good. We'll yeah. see. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed for a lot of the other international carriers we'll yeah. be flying this coming year. I think that's about it yeah. for the for the bag. That oh yeah, and, um, you might have noticed that it, it, this is called a trolley partner. I never knew what the name was called. Yeah, I saw this on a travel accessories top ten article, and it's pretty genius. And we've used it quite a few times for Tim's coffee, for any drink we pick up along the way. Essentially, it's a carry that, that fits on the handle portion of your suitcase. It works for snacks and other things as well. So it's just really handy to have if you are like me, I tend to fumble around all of my belongings and I get overwhelmed. So having something to carry them in is very helpful. We did take a look at some other carry-on bags such as the Away brand and Samsonite and some other brands. But I think we, we got a really good deal on these bags, it was around a holiday or something like that. We've been happy with them ever since. I think I like them the best because they're, it's super lightweight. Um, though it does feel kind of like a plastic material, um, I really like how durable it's been. It's definitely been banged around. You can see some scratches on my bag. And also the zippers are very, uh, I would say stretchy. So if you're really trying to cram a lot of stuff in there like me, Pretty full. Yeah, they're YKK zippers, so they are a, a very sturdy zipper. Yeah, and so when you have to like sit on them to get them closed, it seems to have really good flexibility for the zippers and the seams as well. So, so far I haven't seen any, I don't know, I'm rambling. I'm rambling, I'll rambling. stop now. We really love using them so far and we'll definitely report back in a future video. Before we dive into our bags, we're gonna highlight some of the accessories that we're gonna bring along. The Peak Design Camera Clip, the Garmin InReach Satellite Emergency Communicator, the Peak Design Tech Pouch, where we'll be carrying most of our memory cards, batteries, etc. the Matador Free Rain Packable Fanny Pack, the Petzl Active Headlamp, the Goal Zero Flip 24 and 36 power banks, or charger phones when we can't get to an outlet, the Wandered Mini Camera Cube where we'd be carrying our DSLR camera as well as a couple lenses and some camera accessories, the Wandered Detour Hit Pack, 
is a packable camera bag and the Bose QuietComfort noise canceling headphones, which is perfect for working in public spaces like cafes, airport lounges, and more. So let's start by showing you my carry-on bag. Left side of the bag, which is your right. <laughs> I don't know the reflection. If you're interested in any of this gear, we'll definitely be dropping the links in the description below. I have my Arcteric puff jacket, which packs down and compresses very well, especially also if I'm going to take it on day trips. In this pocket, I have all of my essentially winter hats, winter headbands. I have a pair of gloves. So I always bring a couple extra of each. You just never know if you lose them or some of them actually have more insulation and fleece in them. So we do all different types of activities, whether it be kind of more endurance or long distance. So we tend to sweat more. So it's good to have things that are more breathable. So in this one, I have both of my hats. So sun protection is really important. It's also one of the 10 essentials of hiking kind of more bucket safari hat, especially for like beach days, or if you're like exploring a town, especially when it's a really sunny area, super handy. I've got my breathable hat that I'll be using for hikes. The vest I picked up, it's a bike gear. They're a brand out of Washington State, Whitaker Mountaineering, the guide company we climb Mount Rainier with. This is such a clutch vest. I love it because it keeps me somewhat cozy on hikes, but also very breathable when I don't want to wear a jacket. One thing that I'm most excited about is this hygiene kit, dopo kit, whatever you want to call it. I have all of my bathroom essentials in here and it is the brand. The brand is called Gravel, G-R-A-B-E-L. And I just discovered them not too long ago. I think I was actually targeted by an ad. But I love this dopo or hygiene kit because it comes with its own separate plastic bag for your liquids. I'm very much a big fan of organization. So the reason why I chose this bag was because of all the different zippers that included. So you have like my makeup in this pocket. There's a waterproof pouch for my toothbrush. I have my hairbrush, my hair ties. And then I also have like my floss, my toothpaste and anything that I really need quick access to. And there's like even pockets within these pockets. So it make, makes me excited. I can store things like Q-tips and um, little things um, like my chapstick. And I love this too. It actually reminds me a lot of the Monos bags because these zippers are very durable and then the seams are really stretchy. So as somebody with a lot of hair, I always bring some scrunchies with me because you can use them for when you're getting ready in the bathroom or even on the airplane when you want to get your hair out of the way. I actually found these on Amazon not too long ago and these scrunchies have little pockets. So I, things I store in the scrunchie, a piece of candy because my blood sugar tends to get low pretty quickly and chapstick, just easy access for when I don't want to fumble around especially if I'm going through security in an airport or just going through the airport in general. Some other things that I'm bringing and it's a necessity for Tim and I is hiking. I always go everywhere with these Solomon GTX Gore-Tex hiking boots with high ankle support. They're really great because I have flat feet, highly recommend. And I also am bringing a shoe bag to store my shoes because you know, naturally there's gonna be a lot of dirt on our hiking shoes. We also are going to be each packing. So a lot of, you'll see a lot of the same things in Tim's bag, because when you're a couple, you tend to acquire all of the same brands and things it seems, but we are also bringing Chaco. So these are good shower shoes, as well as um, kind of everyday wear, especially if you're, you know, waiting on the beach or, you know, hanging out at your hotel or hostel or campsite, whatever it may be. Just very easy to clean and wash and they're essentially waterproof. So we each picked up a pair of these Travelon shoe bags. And so we're individually putting our Chacos in these bags. And also you can separate them in your carry-on to store them a lot easier. This is the great debate of many people who travel. Are you a packing cube person or not? I am personally a packing cube person because I love things separated and when I'm unpacking in my hotel room, I can easily put them you know, in a drawer or know where all of my belongings are and what type. In this larger bag, I'll be bringing, if I can open it, all my pants. I'll be bringing one, two, three, four pairs of hiking pants. As you can see, all my pants are black. And I'll be bringing two pairs of shorts. I love Lululemon. These stretchy ones are really good for sleeping, dual use. Lululemons are good for running on the beach. 
And I'm a leggings girl through and through, and I'll be bringing three pairs of leggings, all Lululemon, and I'm actually wearing a pair of them as well. They have pockets. These things I debated greatly, but since our first destinations are gonna be kind of more Southeast Asian countries with some surfing, I thought it'd be good for me to have some sun protection because I'm a surfer as well, so very important. I'm actually bringing a rash guard for surfing or the beach. And I'm bringing these really awesome wetsuit leggings that I found. They're like one millimeter billabong leggings. They make these all in different um, thickness levels. So you can actually get ones that are like more neoprene material like this or more like legging, lycra, stretchy material. Beach coverings, this could actually be dual use as a sarong or uh, you can lay it on the beach and sit on it. So it's like very dual use. Everything that I'm bringing, hopefully I can use for multiple things. So I'm bringing this alpaca scarf that I got from Peru. I don't know, it's maybe just sentimental to me and it'll definitely help me dress up some of my outfits. So I'm bringing a lot of black basic Viore shirts uh, that you'll see in this section. So let's dive right in. So on this side, I'm bringing just some of like, kind of my health, like my medications, my mask for some countries. You know, it's still pretty normal for people to wear masks. So we're gonna definitely be packing some of those. And then here, more packing cubes. I have one section for my bras. I do a lot of outdoor activities. I love to work out, so having these essentials are important. And honestly, I don't like the traditional like wire type bras. They're all pretty much sports bras, and some of them can even double up as like a swimsuit. Like for example, this is one of my new favorite bras. It's from Viore, and it's super comfortable for yoga, any type of workouts, um, and it's also pretty waterproof as well. I'm just gonna show you one. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I have seven, essentially one for every day of the week. And honestly, I wear some of them multiple days in a row as long as I'm not sweating. Other cubes include, so I have one, I'm not bringing too many um, tank tops, but I'm bringing three just in case for working out and for some of our more tropical destinations. And also I will be bringing two sets of swimsuits because we will, not only be surfing and water sports, but also like if you're going to a place in Europe and there's like a sauna or something like that, we wanna make sure that we are prepared to have things like that. As I've already mentioned, it's hard as outdoor enthusiasts and big hikers, we need to have different types of socks for all different types of seasons. Um, I think I'm bringing like 10, about 10 pairs of socks each, two ankle socks, I think like two or three more thin socks and then like uh, about three uh, winter thicker socks, especially for like skiing or winter hiking. And then I also have my underwear in here. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but, but some of them are in the laundry right now. Okay, so in this big apartment, I have all of my tops. This, I have three t-shirts, all dry fit. Top wise, I have two sun shirts that I really love, REI. I think this one's Mountain Hardware. And then I have another breathable, mountain hardware and then everything else in here is viore so i essentially have like four viore tops that i'm bringing because they are anti-wrinkle and they're very basic that match anything and they're very stretchy and also they're breathable too so this is one of the t-shirts that i'm bringing and then i have i'm actually wearing one of the viore shirts but these are the same color black and white i guess this is more of a gray and then i have a thicker Viore with a hoodie for kind of the cooler days. In the bottom, I did not have room in my packing cube, so I'll show you what I have that I kind of laid down to give myself extra space and extra clothing. I have my Solomon rain jacket. It's gonna come in handy, especially when we're in the Alpine and also kind of more wet environments because I just love these basic clothing items. So this black dress, I'm not bringing anything dressy except for that one sweater that I showed you, but I will be bringing this black dress. Essentially, you can dress it up or down, you can put a sweater over it, and you can wear it on the beach, you can wear it out in the town at night. So it's definitely good to have them dual use, very stretchy. I have two pants of Viore joggers, which I am obsessed with, are definitely my go-to, especially on travel days when we're hanging out in the airports for a long period of time. And then I have one more pair of joggers, kind of more lightweight, breathable for more um, warmer environments or just hanging out and working or at a coffee shop, whatever it may be. And, and last but not least, I brought an RFID money belt. 
This one I got off Amazon. Zero Grid is the brand, and it, essentially you can wear it underneath your clothing, you know, carrying cash or carrying your important documents that you don't want, you know, in your backpack or essentially keep some of your stuff secure or keeping your money and your documents separate if you want to separate your cash and things like that. Oops. So besides the shoe bags, all of our packing cubes are all Monos brands. So they come with essentially, I think there was like 10 different packing cubes in this entire set. Don't quote me on that, but there was quite a few options and I was able to kind of pick what worked best for my bag and yeah. Now, Helen already mentioned that because we are doing carry-on only, we could only fit a minimal amount of clothes. And if we really need something, we'll just buy it on the way. But everything that I chose in my bag has to have multiple purposes. So I really kind of used that when I was selecting out my clothes. To start with, I have a North Face sun hat. These things are critical for really bright, sunny days. This is uh, kind of my mount mountaineering hat. I've got a little pouch here. I've got a water filter for backpacking and hiking. It's a bee, a bee free hydro pack for hiking. You never know when you run out of water on the trail. So in this thing, we have a clothes hanger that we can use to dry our clothes. So this could be really helpful in a lot of countries that don't have dryers or if, uh, the place we're staying doesn't have a dryer. I also have this awesome multi country plug with all these little adapters in it. So I just carry the main thing. It's really handy. It has two main plugs, some USB plugs, a USB-C plug, and it comes with all these adapters. So this should be good for the entire world. I really hope so because I am carrying, there's like five or six different plugs for this thing. So who knows how many I'll actually use. Okay, in my other pouch, I have just a couple empty mesh bags. These are my dirty laundry bags. So I keep those there. I have a waterproof bag, which is Sea to Summit. Sea to Summit makes some amazing products. And this is a waterproof bag that I can put in camera gear. So if we're in a, a country or we're going out on a boat or something, I'm gonna put any expensive electronics in here and then I'll put those in my day pack to keep them safe. I've got a belt that I'll take just in case. I don't really wear them too often because I have Prana pants that have like a built-in belt, but you never know when you need an actual belt. Here I've got my, my amazing Arcteryx puffy jacket. This thing is wonderful in cold weather. This is our heavy duty jackets. Um, so got, I have to take this everywhere. And so our daily jackets that we're also gonna bring are the mid-weight Arcteryx jackets. These things can keep you warm even when it's below freezing outside as long as you wear the proper layers. But this can also be worn when on warmer days. So this will be our just daily use jacket. I have my Patagonia hygiene kit. Okay, so this is my, my most stout kind of hiking pants. These are really like trekking pants or mountaineering pants. They're made, made by Fjall Raven. Uh, these are awesome because they actually turn into shorts. So it, on a hot day, I can, I can go down to a pair of shorts. In this pouch here, I brought seven pairs of low ankle socks, four pairs of hiking socks. In this pouch here, I have my shorts. So I have two pairs of Prana shorts. These are great for casual and hiking. I have a pair of kind of uh, casual joggers. Yeah. We can't waste space on anything that doesn't have multiple uses. Uh, or at least that's, <laughs> I don't know about Helen, but <laughs> I definitely don't have. <laughs> debatable. <laughs> yeah, debatable. Some of her choices are debatable. This bag is my shirts. All of my shirts are either Lululemon or Viore because uh, they are amazingly comfortable. They are dry fit shirts, wrinkle free for the most part. They're super comfortable. So I've got seven shirts. I've got one long sleeve sun shirt that is a hoodie for hiking. I've got another long sleeve that is another hiking shirt. I've got two uh, Viore tank tops for Southeast Asia, other tropical climates. And I've got one kind of longer sleeve, almost like a sweater, a little bit heavier for cooler weather. One thing that we have in each of our four bags is an Apple AirTag. These things are absolutely critical. As you've probably heard in the news over the past year, in airports worldwide, they were losing people's bags left and right. We are carrying on only, so I'm not expecting to, to need these. 
However, if someone steals your bag or you lose your bag or leave it behind, you'll be able to find it pretty easily on your phone. On my other side, I have a GoPro floaty handle. So if we go diving or surfing or anything in the water, I definitely want the GoPro to float. So I have that handle. This is a collapsible duffel bag. So we can use this thing to put our dirty laundry in if we need to take it to the laundromat or if we need to go on a, a boat tour or something like that. If you just need a, a nice collapsible duffel bag, this thing is really handy. My rain jacket packed in here. So mountain hardware rain jacket, critical piece of clothing. Okay, in this pouch is my, uh, kind of my winter pouch. So I've got neck gaiter, I've got my beanie, um, some gloves, random stuff. And I've got a couple pairs of pants in this pouch. I have my underwear, so I brought seven pairs of boxer briefs. I have a couple pairs of shorts, so I have a pair of like workout shorts, uh, Lululemon, and then also a pair of my shorts I sleep in at night. So I've only brought two pairs of these types of shorts, and then I have a pair of swim trunks. Finally, getting down to the last couple things, in these shoe bags, I have my Chacos, and I have my hiking boots. And just, just like Helen, Solomon hiking boots. Super lightweight, sturdy, they last for a long time. So this is at least our third pair of Solomons. So we are definitely Solomon fans for hiking boots. I have a massage block. So obviously I'm a physical therapist uh, by trade. And we're, like since we're hiking and we're gonna be traveling all around the world, we're gonna need to maintain our flexible bodies. But you can also use a tennis ball, but these work really. And last but not least, the Brazen Morph Foam Roller. So this is a collapsible foam roller. You just pull the tabs on the sides and it pops out. These two little tabs on the end kind of flip out and it locks into place. So now you've got a full size foam roller. Again, because we hike so much, we have to maintain our flexibility. And this little guy is a great travel companion. We're twinning. <laughs> Which we do with most of our stuff. Yeah. But in terms of our day packs, this definitely took, this was like a multi-year process of finding the perfect day pack for this type of trip because we, we went through a bunch of different brands, a bunch of different sizes, and it just, we needed to find one that, that was just, had the exact right, mm -hmm. you know, aspects to it that we needed to be able to fit underneath the seat in an airplane, but yet be uh, mobile enough for us to take backpacking or hiking. It took a while to find the perfect packs. I think we did. We've tested it at home on a hike, hike as well. Yeah. So it's always good to test drive your packs before you leave, especially for such a long trip like this. But we went with the Gregory bag. And the female version is the Juno 30 and the male version is the Citro 30. And the, the big difference between the two is actually the frame size on the bag itself and then the waist belt. Obviously for the females, it's good, the waist belt's gonna tend to be a little bit smaller and a little bit shorter frame. And the men has a little bit taller frame. Uh, the volume of the pack is both 30 liters on each. We had to buy these separately from our day packs, but essentially it is a rain guard for our backpacks because we are always in the mountains and you can never predict the weather. So it's always good to be prepared to protect your stuff, especially for us in our day packs, we tend to carry some electronics and things essentially can't get wet. So I'm having trouble opening this up. Basically just a Gregory rain fly and it fits perfectly for these 30 liter packs. They always have, they come in specific sizes for each rain fly. The, uh, the, like she said, Gregory does not sell the bags with them. You have to buy the rain fly separate, but it's definitely important to have a rain fly for those rainy days. Let's start on the back. So as you can see, the little dangly things on the back of the packs are our travel pillows. Um, we love these travel pillows. It's like a Tempur-Pedic type of pillow. It like squishes down, it rolls up. It's got a nice little travel case here. Uh, it's got a little snap on the front so you know it just stays together whenever you're sleeping. I'm, I'm demoing it. She gets, she gets a, a <laughs> lot of use of hers. I do. It's uh, no, it works really well. Um, I don't know if we'll end up keeping these or not. Like maybe on the trip, like we end up getting rid of them. You know, it is kind of annoying having this thing hang off, but we're definitely gonna start with them. They're very portable. So, so far they don't bother me. 
We both have a carabiner on the back. These are actually climbing rated, so we could use these uh, to repel or climb if we actually needed to, but you never know when you need a good carabiner, so we always have one of those. I also have the Kula cloth as well. It is a technical pea cloth. Essentially, if you're in the backcountry, it's washable, and instead of wasting and carrying a bunch of toilet paper, especially this is for number one, not number two, let me be clear, but you essentially just wash it with soap and warm water, or just soap and water, and it's good to go. And it's an antimicrobial material, yep. right? It's antimicrobial. Very handy. All right, in my pack, I have a little Sea to Summit extendable kind of backpacking little shovel. This is in case you have to go number two on the trail. I just call it the poop shovel. It's a poop shovel, basically. <laughs> it snaps out. It works as a little shovel. It's very handy and you know, it's just part of life when you do a lot of hiking. What do we got on the sides? I, I know we're both gonna be carrying our water bottles. So it is a double wall water bottle so it can keep your drinks hot and warm and we hot are and actually, <laughs> it's gonna keep your drinks hot and cold yeah. and it's insulated in for up to 12 hours. And these are the Hydro Flasks. Mm -hmm. uh, this brand oh. makes great stuff. And we are gonna be changing out the tops. You can mm -hmm. have, you know, the top like this that you can drink out of, but of course for sanitary reasons when you're traveling, you really don't want this touching the ground or other things. So we have additional adapter screw, right. screw lids that you would have to unfortunately screw to drink. It's just but like, when you yeah. lay it flat underneath a seat in an airplane, you don't want it leaking yeah. out of this type of lid. So that's why we're going to bring the other type of lid. If you have any questions on the things that we talked about there that we're packing, drop them in the comments below. We'll definitely have links for everything in the description that you can click through. If you'd like to support our channel, please click through the links because they're just affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra, but we do receive a small kickback for the recommendations. And just overall, we're excited to see how this packing list progresses through the months, if some of it works or if it doesn't, but we're hoping maybe at the close to the one year mark, we'll do an updated video on maybe things that we got rid of or incorporated along the way. Definitely follow us on Instagram at Helen and Tim Travel for real time updates, and we will see you on the next trail. That's good. We hope you enjoyed our packing video. Hit that like button and drop a comment to help support this video. The next time you hear from us, we will be in Taiwan, so we'll definitely see you on the next trail.